Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to get the source code, the original code from any APK file of an Android app. So the steps which we'll need is to convert first the APK file to the jar file and then get the source code, the Java code or uh, whatever from this we'll convert jar, uh, we'll try to access the code from the jar file. So let's begin. First, we'll create a very simple uh, app and get the APK file for that. So that, yeah, so I'll just make it a test app for APK to source code conversion. I have given some long name, but that's fine. There are things I leave it as it is and click finish and wait for the environment to load, which may take a while. Once the environment loads up, I'll do one thing. I'll start the emulator also in parallel on the right hand side and I'll just do some very simple uh, coding. I don't need I, uh, I need this one. So what I'll do is in this uh, layout, probably I just add one button uh, and I'll just name this button probably something like set and give some constraints. Perfect. I'll probably add one more button right. I'll add two buttons. One is set, another one is probably this one could be uh, clear. Okay. Yeah. Now I'll move back to Java code. I'll just do some very simple coding. Say, for example, I create two methods public void button set. View, view, and the other one will be public void button clear. So this coding what I am doing is uh, yeah this is what we will see in the APK when you get converted. Okay, so my emulator started on the parallel on the right hand side. So fine, I can just make it smaller right now and let me complete the code quickly and. Perfect. So now if I go back to my layout and try to associate those two methods with these buttons. So if I scroll down in this on click attribute over here, I can associate it with button clear and then this one could be button set. Perfect. And this uh, text view probably this is what we will use to set or unset or clear some text. Uh, from the code and that will be the part of our code. So what I'll do is I'll just create a class where you will say for example private text view text view and associate it with that widget in the layout. So find view by id r dot id dot text view. So those who don't want to do this part like uh, yeah they want to just take see the functionality they can skip by few minutes but yeah I'll just quickly create this so this is a programmer world app and here probably I can just clear it and what I can just set text again hello world or probably I'll just make hello programmer world. Perfect. Now let me rerun this code and see if everything looks good. And then we can start our uh, part of that conversion. So I don't think I need this. If I click on set, yeah. And if I click on clear, so this is working, right? So this is the code which we'll be using. This is a uh, yeah, project which we'll be using. Now we'll convert this project into the APK. So there are two approaches. Uh, how you can get an apk file so one is like if you go to this uh, build menu and over here you get the build apk option but before i do go that i'll also like to show you that you can go to that uh, project file uh, project uh, folder and in this project folder if you go to this uh, app then i think build at intermediates at apk debug yeah, over here also you get the default APK file because which we have run in this uh, emulator, right? So it builds the files internally. So I will probably show you the other approach as well. So when you go here and build the APK file, it may take a while. 
build, it will build the file and it will give you yeah, it's successful and you can locate it just click on this uh, locate and it should open the place where it has created that file so this will be inside this debug and this is the file so you can use any one of them so most likely i'll use this one so i'll just uh, copy this so that's all i think from java or from my project perspective app perspective that's all now i will start my steps of converting this apk uh, to first to jar and then from jar to the source code so let me start so I'll, what i'll do is i'll copy this apk file uh, okay so to convert uh, one by one uh, i'll explain the steps to convert apk to jar we'll need something called i think dex to jar conversion tool so let me show you so the tool which we'll be needing is this one dex to jar and uh, yeah and there are, uh, this this tool is at many places over, over internet you can find it to download yeah, i think i have a couple of links here i'll post it on uh, my description however you can also search so i think 2.1 is the latest version is what i understand uh, and uh, dex to jar 2.1 version is what i have downloaded but you can try with other versions as well if it's the latest version that time so basically dex to jar means by default it's a dex file the apk internally and we'll be converting that to jar and once this conversion happens then we'll be using this uh, jdg ui tool to visualize the code the source code from the jar file so let's begin and i have i think copied that uh, yes i have copied this uh, apk file and then i'll go to the this tool which i have already downloaded and kept in my uh, local after downloading of course i think I, I have to unzip it you can also do it so i will probably do one thing i'll create a new folder over here called apk and i'll paste my apk file which i copied from there to here yeah in this folder and now i will uh, run this tool to convert this apk into jar once copied what i'll do is i'll start my command prompt and i have already gone to that folder uh, in which my tool resides and what we'll need is here is d2j i think then dex 2 jar so or you can use and probably i can first show you the options so you can just click on minus uh, hyphen h which will give you all the options what you have and then probably we'll use this tool to convert so for that i think apk is our folder and i think i have to give the file name no i think this should be apk backslash yeah this is the file name and click enter and it may take a while to complete let's wait we can go back in parallel to our place here and see if you notice this jar file is getting created over here so once you have to of course wait for this completion so this is completed now and now we can use that other tool over here which is basically the decompiler tool uh, java decompiler tool jdgui to visualize it. so i have already started that and what i can do it is just drag and drop this jar into this and this opens up and now you can see over here we can if we scroll over here perfect so if you see we get a source code of this main activity uh, our main uh, file of course if you have multiple files it will come or your multiple classes will come here and you can see so this is the one what we have done our in programming right so if i can toggle between my android app and uh, not android studio and the jdg ui so if you can visualize the code is almost same of course i mean space and all those things in the compiler uh, just removes it right and it reshuffles the code so the flow or the structure may be a little bit different but the content wise the, it is the same so you can use this so this tool will be helpful uh, if someone has given you the only the apk file and if you want to understand what the coding they have gained done the functional device internally you can use this tool to, to, to do that okay so that's all i wanted to show you how easy and straightforward it is to convert this uh, apk file uh, to first to jar and then uh, jar to source code so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye